Welcome back. People from other large cities like Los Angeles, New York, and San Francisco, well, they're coming to San Diego, and that's due to rising crime rates and homelessness in those cities. Joining us to talk about why and how San Diego's home prices compare to those cities is realtor and broker Mark Powell. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Ellie. How are you? I'm doing well. So tell me, because, you know, people here in San Diego, it is expensive to buy a home. Tell me what we're seeing with home prices right now and, and where the inventory stands and what we're looking at here for 2021. Okay, well, in San Diego, the median home price, this is San Diego County, is about $650,000. Now, when you compare that to L.A., which is about 720000 New York, Manhattan is 1.6 million, and San Francisco is hovering around the same price, 1.5 million. It makes San Diego a bargain, especially for those people who live in California, in LA, or live in, um, in uh, San Francisco that want to go ahead and move in California, stay here. This place is a bargain. Yeah, and I think actually, especially with the stay at home orders, that there are people who are saying, oh, I don't have to live in L.A. I could live in San Diego and work remotely. That's correct. You can work remotely anywhere, but San Diego is becoming a choice destination. Seriously, just look outside. Look at this weather. It's beautiful. The problem is the inventory in San Diego is way too low. I'm going to give you some examples in University City. There are three houses for sale total. In Claremont, there's 14 houses for sale total. And in Mira Mesa, they're running right about the same. So if you took Claremont, Mira Mesa, and University City, the total number of homes for sale, these are single family homes, is 28. That's all you got to pick from. Wow. So that makes it hard for people who are from San Diego to get into the market, to go and be able to buy a home. What, what needs to be done? Uh, you know, what can what can our politicians do to help this? Well, we've been talking about this for a long time. And now that we have some new leadership in our mayor's office and on the city council, we need for them to incentivize builders, incentivize um, people who want to sell their house or make upgrades to their house. They can do that through tax credits or a bunch of different ways. Streamline the permit process. We have to make it easy to build because if we don't build any more homes, our children, I know you probably have kids and I have kids as well, they're not going to be able to move back to San Diego when they go off to college. It's just going to be way too expensive for them. Yeah, we already see that happening now. Now, for people who are looking to be in the market, whether they're looking for buying or selling here in 2021, what do they need to know? Well, first of all, they need to know that they have to be pre-approved. So they're going to have to make roughly, to afford a median price home, they'll have to make about $140,000. So that's if two couples are making $70,000 apiece, which is about right, uh, or two individuals, they can afford a house. Also, they have to be pretty aggressive when they're putting in their offers. Right now is not the time to lowball somebody. This is a seller's market. Sellers are controlling the industry, so buyers have to be aware that they need to be aggressive in their in their offerings. All right, so that means if you're a seller, you're in a good position right now. Mark Powell, we appreciate you coming on, providing some insight for us this morning. Thank you for having me. All right. A high surf advantage.